welcome to you all. I say a warm welcome. It's not warm anymore. The weather has returned to its usual drizzly, rainy glory as usual. So what is the weather like where you are? Um, we've had intense heat this last week. Um, it's been scorching. And for many of you watching us all around the world, you're probably thinking 36, 37 is not that hot, but we don't have air con. Um, and today it's just raining and wet. And hopefully it's not the end of summer. I've got some really lovely vibrant for you today. I'm going to be showing you how to make, um, they are using gemstone beads. They are fire agate. They're beautiful. They're coloured in the most vibrant colours. Uh, using a little bit of stretch elastic to make a multi-row bracelet and using beautiful spacer bars as well. So I'm looking forward to today's make and um, hopefully no tech gremlins. This morning when I've come on everything was going well and then my camera was very skewed and I didn't know why. Uh, so drop me a comment, let me know you can see me okay, you can hear me okay after restarting my computer up. Good morning to Frances, she says good morning everybody from Overcast Perth. Elaine says good morning to everybody. Our lovely Lucy's here. Sharon's in. She says good morning, creative bead and ears. Heidi is here. She says everyone loved the gemstone beads. These I have used before. I can't remember what I made with them. They were probably one of my first makes. They're just lovely. I love the colours of them and they're faceted too. So they're very chunky, make a lovely statement piece. Um, and they're quite comfortable to wear as well. Good morning to Mandy. She says, good morning, Natalie and everyone. Hope everyone is well. And good morning to our lovely Mina. So I am going to take you over to the website. I'm going to show you the bargains. They are very, very lovely, if I do say so myself. And then I will bring you back down on the mat. Now, there's different things you can do with them in terms of how you would like to um place your spacers. I tend to use five spacer bars in these bracelets and I'm doing them in little rows of uh, three and utilising those Toho seed beads which are size 11s as well. Uh, good morning to Michael, he says good morning from Brisbane in Australia. Good morning to you, thank you, or good evening to you rather. Uh, hello to Linny, she says good morning. Brenda's here, uh, says good morning, four in the morning for Brenda. And good morning to Dorothy. Well, it's just gone at 10 a.m. here in the UK. So wherever you're watching me from, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to take you over to the website very quickly now and we will get going. So if you are new to us or you need a reminder, we are on totallybeads.co.uk. So you can click in the video tutorial section here or you can scroll down to categories whichever you prefer and right at the top we've got our beautiful Maya bracelet so as I say we are using the fire agate for these it's a semi-precious natural gemstone um, so in terms of a little about the gemstone itself it is a variety of chalcedony so it's from the quartz family it was discovered in northern Mexico um, and the southwest of the United States and I think it was created, if I've researched correctly, about, it was formed about 24 to 36 million years ago where um, it was subjected to a lot of volcanic activity. So it's a beautiful gemstone. These are 10 millimeters and they are faceted. I'm gonna go in quickly and show you the colors. So this is the beautiful deep blue. So you can see here how it looks when worn. very very gorgeous it is faceted so it catches the light you get to see those natural veins in it as well in your kit you're going to get your fire agate uh, your 10 millimeter in size i think you're probably going to need about 45 for this particular design so 45 pieces of those beautiful fire agate you're also going to get your toho seed beads in size 11 and you're going to get your spacer bars now your spacer bars if you want to have a little look at the dimensions of them or anything that we're using in the kit you can see here they are um really lovely you can fit three beads up to 12 millimeters i think in size on this i'm using the 10 millimeters today they've got gorgeous crystal diamantes on the front and they're just 
extra lovely to add that extra little bit of sparkle. So they are the size and dimensions of the space bars. Now, we are not including the elastic in your kit today. I have made these using the 0.6 elastic before, but because they're quite chunky and quite heavy, I'm using 0.8 millimeter elastic. I just think it's going to give it that extra little bit of sturdiness. Um, so that is the elastic we are using today. If you need to add that into your basket, you can do. So that one is the deep blue. We've also got this gorgeous deep purple. So Fire Agate is a ground in stone. It's got a calming energy to it, um, but it's fire. So it helps you with courage, creativity, expression, security, self-confidence. And it is said to help you overcome any arcs you might be having. So if, and I know we all get like that again, we're thinking, I don't know what to make. I'm seem to have lost speed in mojo or whatever then this might be a really good stone and a lovely design to get you back in the mood so that one is the deep purple they do slightly vary in price a little bit so your deep blue is nine pounds and 25 pence the deep purple is nine pounds this gorgeous fuchsia black one is ten pounds fifty they all in discounted for you today though so this is the fuchsia black so black stone still faceted with the most beautiful pink splashes across these beads so everything you need in your kit to make this bracelet is your fire agate your toho seed beads which will be matching in color um, i've picked them out especially so they match so with these ones you're getting those gorgeous uh, silver milky Toho seed beads with them, and of course, getting those spacer bars as well. And then we have this one for you, which I think is my favorite. I always go for blues, but today I am absolutely this light green colorway. So, again, this is how it looks on. It is only nine pounds for you today. I think it looks rather expensive, and it's going to be. It's very summery because the colours are so bright and vivid, but you can wear these all year round. They will go with anything you're wearing, any t-shirts, anything a little bit more formal. So that is your light green one and that is £9. So they are our bracelets for you today. Gorgeous colours from. If you want to add anything else in your kit, and as I say, you get six pieces of your spacer bars. I'm only using four five if you want to get any more do and if you think you know i really like a couple of colors then you can always go into those sections individually and you can always add any more of the seed beads you won't need any more i don't think you're going to get plenty of seed beads because you get 10 grams in there um but if you want any more of the faceted round 10 millimeter fire agate they're there for you as well so lots of lovelies for you today let me know in the comments what do you think of that and i will stop sharing my screen and catch up with you and say a quick hello to anybody i've missed um so good morning to dorothy thank you for lucy she's sharing the link for you today so we are totally beads .co.uk forward slash facebook tutorials forward slash Maya fire agate bracelet thank you to Mina who's wishing you all a good morning and particularly Dorothy they're having a little chat amongst themselves which is lovely hello to Ruth good morning to Linda she says good morning Natalie and all the lovely beaders Linda I hope you had a very lovely lovely birthday and I hope your husband is doing okay as well I know he's had his eye off hasn't he I think this morning um or oh, you let us know this morning so i'm sending him lots and lots of love for a speedy recovery hello to joy she is saying it's raining in peterborough too sheila says good morning natalie and fellow beady beaders beadies uh, good morning to janice she says i love wide bracelets good morning all well you'll love these janice hello to Anne. hi to sue hello to tutu jackie's here uh, dorothy's having a little chit chat again back to mina 
Um, hopefully you're all okay. Um, Lucy's saying, gosh, look at the pink one. I love that. Good morning to Edward. Hello to Carol. Hi to Hannah. She says she's just looking while it's quiet in work. So thank you for joining us, Hannah. Um, Joy says they are beautiful and we are spoiled for choice. And Anne says, good morning, everyone from a very dull, cloudy Perth. So weather isn't great, but bring in the heat with the fire hat. A fire agate instead so I'm going to take you down onto the table and you can have a little look so you can space these bars out however you wish this one I did with two in the middle and then three but actually I think I like the placement better on these ones where I'm putting three of those fire agate in between little bit of a Toho CB just to space them out a little bit and you'll see we've got those gorgeous spacer bars as well so the spacer bars you could probably fit up to a 12 millimeter bead in between them we're going for the 10 millimeter today I think it just gives them a really really lovely look being able to kind of multi-row them like this so this particular colorway I am showing is looking much darker under the light today than it is you've got the most beautiful purples it's a very deep purple but it's beautiful you'll see as you wear it as those beads move you've got that lovely twinkle on them with them being faceted so that is the deep purple tutu saying i just love all the colors this is the blue and i think today i'm going to cheat i'm going to use the green and the blue in my bracelet today, just so you can see what they look like and I can get them all out. This is the blue, it's just gorgeous. You can see they've got like little veins in them. So they are dyed the most absolutely stunning colors. This is a semi-precious natural gemstone. So really good if you're wanting something a little bit extra special and you want to make some beautiful jewellery. These are your fuchsia on black. So you can see every single gemstone is slightly different and unique in itself. We've got little bits of greys. Look at the banding in that one. Can it focus? It's just stunning. Very vibrant and very lovely. Lucy says, very pretty beads. And as I say, I don't usually go for green, but I just love the zestiness of this. So each bead is completely different and unique. It's all plated with the same gorgeous colour running through it. But they're all slightly different. Mina says she loves the blue and the pink fag fire agate sitting on hands until payday i know what you mean mina um i i've had a little spending spree myself i didn't mean to but i couldn't help myself um so these are what we are making today i am going to mix i mean if you wanted to mix them i think lots of these colors would go beautiful together good morning to angela so what I'm going to do to start off with is I'm going to place those slightly out of the way and I'm going to have a little sip of my coffee just to wake me up. And I'm going to have a little feel of the beads and get myself some courage, creativity and a little bit of artistic wonder from them. So I'm going to undo my strings. I have already used these so there's um a few missing off the string i'm going to pull them out to the side a little bit and i'm going to take my elastic so as i say i'm using the 0.8 elastic today you could use a 0.6 if you wanted to but i think the 0.8 is that little bit more sturdy it is round it is stretchy it's lovely to make with so I'm probably gonna cut um I'll probably cut about 25 30 centimeters of each one of these 
I was meant to pick my bulldog clip up. That's what I was going to do. I'll use my stopper instead. So you're going to need three lengths of this. I'm cutting it much longer than it needs to be because I want to have something to hold on to when I'm coming to make those knots at the end. So I'm cutting off my three lengths of elastic because we're going to have three rows. You don't all have to be exactly the same length. And I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit and warm it up in my hands. Now, the reason I stretch this out is because obviously over time with the weight of the beads and with constant wear of popping it on and on your wrist, um, it can stretch a little bit. So I tend to find if I just stretch the elastic out beforehand, it should then stay a little bit more true to size. Good morning to Angela. Mandy saying she's loving the green. Um, Mina says, Natalie, I spent a fortune on kit sale. I was making Mia bracelets last night. Hannah says she likes the pink. I think I've still got some blue fire agate from when we did the pendants. Oh, we did. It was the wire um, little kind of circular round pendants we made with them, wasn't it? Thanks for that, Hannah. I can never remember what we've done. Okay, so when you're making these, you can make each row as you go, or you can make the top row and then add on the middle and the bottom. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to see what I feel like. So I'm going to start off with my green. I'm going to do a green and a blue and then a green, I think. So I'm just going to move these ones out of the way for now. And if you want to, you can pop your bead stopper on one end, but I'm going to work middle out. So I'm going to add on one of my fire agate beads. You can, if you want to, use a needle. You can, if you want to, mix up your colours. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to go with these lovely little tohos. So I'm going to pour some of these out as well. These are size 11s. And I'm just going to pop on one of my fire agates one toho another one in the same color of my gemstone beads another one of my toho seed beads and then one more fire agate so i've got three on one of my rows of elastic with my seed beads in the middle. There is a slight delay again on my camera with my hands so do bear with me I hope it catches up. Okay then I'm going to take one of my spacer bars so you can see it's got four lovely little diamond tees on it and it's got three holes in the middle so I can pop this on to that top hole. Then I'm going to add, you could do the blues and the greens and mix them up that way, but I'm not. I'm going to keep mine in rows because when you get these kits, you will have all of one colour. So then I'm going to add on another one of the fire agate, another toho. I say I'm not using um, a needle for this. The elastic goes through those holes pretty easy, so I can just pick them up and pop them on. So I'm only adding on two of the toe holes in between those beads. I'm not popping one on the end. You can, if you want, if you work in middle out, take another one of your bars. Again, same hole going on the top one and I'm putting them either side. So I'm going to use five of these spacer bars for one of my bracelets. And my fire agate is going to be nice up and close next to those spacer bars. 
and in between my fire agate, I'm just going to add a little Toho seed bead. I love the colour of these Toho seed beads as well. They just add that extra little pop of colour in and I think they just space the fire agate out lovely. Good morning, Celia. Francis said it would be nice to do one green, then one blue, then one green again. I know I did think that as I went. You can do whatever you want. See, it's working already. If this is a gemstone, which is meant to help and overcome any artistic blocks, then we've already got the creative juices flowing, haven't we? The possibilities are endless. Okay, three onto the other side. So as I say, you could do each row as you go. Um, I tend to find it easier to go one row at a time. And it's a fairly quick make, very straightforward, easy make to do. But I think it gives a very lovely look. So I will use 15 of the fire agate on each row. So there will be 15 on this one, 15 on that one, 15 on this one. If I'm using five of the spaces and I'm adding three in between, you can bring them closer together if you want. Um, again, it's entirely up to you how you want to put these together. But obviously with me having the spaces I'm going to be making three rows, whichever colour way I put together or however spaced out they're going to be. Good morning, everybody. Lovely colours, says Julie. Uh, Lucy says, oh, I can see comments again. Facebook's being silly for me this morning. They've changed all the settings on um, on groups and things at the moment. I don't know what the difference is, to be honest, but I know now I can swap over from different profiles. And to be honest, it's just made things a little bit more complicated. So I don't know whether that's changed things around for me as well. Morning, Trish. How are you doing? If you're just joining us, we are making lovely Maya Fire Agate bracelets. So I'm going to put my last one on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm going to add my bar on, but not another row, because I want when this to come round, these beads to sit next to this spacer. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 beads running along the top. And now I'm going to do exactly the same, but using the middle one. And I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And I'm going to use the gorgeous blue Toho seed beads with the blue, or the deep blue fire agate. Now these seed beads that I've picked out, they are blue, but they've got the most beautiful, it's kind of like a raspberry colour on the inside of them. And I don't think you can see it too well. They're very, very pretty. Okay, so again, I tend to start in the middle. So I'm gonna take my next piece of elastic and I'm going to thread that through this hole here. So it's just on that middle row running through. And then I'm going to take the blue fire agate and I'm going to add one on. And then I'm going to add my toho. Could have done with putting a little bit of cream on my hands, I've been washing them so much, they're quite dry, but again, when I'm doing elastic and it comes to tying knots, I just didn't wanna have slippy hands. So do excuse my hands if there's little bits of, uh, bit of dry skin on them. Okay, 
So those three are on, taking the elastic, running it through that hole. So I'm keeping it flat on the table as I do this. I'm just going to twist that spacer bar up a little bit just so I can see the hole to pop that elastic through. If you want to, you can use a large eye needle, but I'm not needing to at the moment. They will move about and that's fine. I can push them all together before I tie that knot. Good morning to Leslie. How are you doing? Uh, Heidi says in reply to Lucy that she thought it was just her phone um, playing up. She doesn't like change either. I don't know why they change it all the time, to be honest, but there you go. So you might want to check your settings to make sure you are still notified. And um, if you like and follow the page, then you will be informed of forthcoming events and live makes and you can get a notification for when the next one's on. But we are live pretty much all Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. UK time. Adding the next ones on and popping through that middle space of our hole. Lucy says they keep they change it to keep us on our toes. They do indeed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sure, it's just got something to do with um like marketplace or whatever it is. As I say, I've not really noticed anything at the moment. What I have noticed is my Instagram seems to be linked as well. So if I share anything on my Instagram page, it's now automatically sharing to like stories and things on my Facebook page. And I've got a couple of different accounts because I have my um, Totally Beads making one where I share all of the links to the lives that we do with you here. I also have um, my own one for my like wire making jewellery. Um, and then I've got my own personal one as well. So I have an abundance of Facebook profiles all under the, the one name. So I'm just adding on these gorgeous blue ones, spacing them out with those seed beads and sliding it through the little hole on those spacer bars. So it's coming together pretty quickly. Just going to add my last blue ones on. Good morning, Debbie. How are you doing? So have we all cooled down? Is the weather gone back to normal everywhere? <clears throat> I hope you all coped okay in the heat. I know there was quite a lot of fires um, towards London and was it Dartmoor as well? Um, I think they were caused by, <clears throat> excuse me, people having um, like disposable barbecues or just how dry all the like grassland and thing was really, wasn't it? I hope everybody is safe. Okay, so I've now made my second row and I'm just going to finish off with my third, which will be my beautiful green ones again. Should have enough. You're going to have enough pieces. So you'll probably have more than one string <clears throat> in your kit or enough beads. So as I say, for this design, I'm using 45 um because i've got three rows of 15 excuse me i'm just gonna have a sip of my coffee again <clears throat> lucy says we had a terrible fire in the town i live at in the local center the whole nursery burnt down and four properties it was very scary gosh that does sound terrifying i hope everyone's okay it's just heartbreaking isn't it when you know your house and thing. when you say nursery was that like a children's nursery lucy or was that a plant nursery 
got a tickle in my throat today. So I'm going back with the green ones. You could put any of these colours together. You could do a real mix. You could do each one on each row, slightly different. <clears throat> mix it up with the Toho seed beads as well in between. So I'm just adding on my seed beads in between those fire agate beads. And then the fire agate goes up against that space of all. So I'm working from the middle out. Um, I feel it's just easier to kind of cast my eye over it really and check everything. It's in the right place where it needs to be. Oh, Lucy says it was a proper nursery. They had babies in there and everything. Oh my God, everyone is all safe though. Thank, thank God, Lucy. Um, Oh, just doesn't bear thinking about. If we just, um, it's lovely to have hot, sunny days. It's really lovely to have a summer. Um, but we're just, in the UK, we're just not prepared for it, really, are we? As I say, we don't have air conditioning in our houses. Like, I know some people were watching in Australia, and I'm sure all of their homes have air con in and it's just a different heat I, I suppose when it comes to um the cold weather we're more prepared for that unless it's snow and then we all come to a standstill again <laughs> um I know a few things had closed because of the heat so I had to do um, a post office run I was sending something um, and I've gone on the Monday and I've got an old little car. It doesn't have air conditioning in the car. I was just melting. Got there, parked up and they closed early, which I did not blame them for. Uh, Tuesday, it was just as warm. I think Tuesday night felt really warm. And then they were closed again. Wednesday, I managed to go. They were back in business. So thank you to all of our posties and everybody continuing to work in the heat. We appreciate you. We'd be lost without you. Michael says can't live without air conditioning. I think... Um, just what you get used to we, we honestly we don't really need it here michael we never we never have the need for it um we're usually having a conversation about you know popping the heating on and things like that but yeah i wanted to do more washing today and get it out on the line but because it's raining i'm gonna have to uh leave it i don't want to put my dryer on i'll just wait and hope and see what the weather's like tomorrow so I'm just adding on my last row um, of my last beads now. I was trying to get it through what I thought, if there's a bit of focus, was a little hole there. But that's not a hole, that's a natural little pit and a little marking in the gemstone. The hole I need is just next to it there, so we'll try that again. <laughs> As I say, each one is unique and beautiful. Gorgeous, semi-precious gemstone with the most beautiful, vivid colours on them. So I think naturally, I think they're kind of like an orangey brown colour fire agate. Obviously, these have got the most vivid, gorgeous colours, which I just think are perfect for summer. So on with my last bead. So here is how it is looking. So I've got <clears throat> three gorgeous ones in between each of those spaces. Good morning, Kath. She says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. Um, Lucy's saying she's got super dry sore eyes. 
Lash is she didn't go out for three days and hid in an aircon room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over so I can start to do my knot. So I'm going to hold on quite securely to three of those ends and I'm just going to flip it over because this is the way I do it. I want to make sure that when I'm tying it together that obviously my spacer bars have got the diamantes on the front. So I'm going to take the top row and I'm just going to move my elastic out. And then I'm going to take those four little ends from the other rows and I'm just going to tie them together just to keep them out the way. So I'm using my bead stopper, but if you've got like a little bulldog clip or paper clip, you can use that. So I'm just going to tie each row one at a time. So as you can see, I've got my fire agate on the end of one and my spacer bar on the end of the other. So if I tie these here, all of my little knots are gonna be in the same place on my bracelet. And these fire agate are gonna sit nicely up against that spacer bar. So it's got that continuous flow from it. So I'm gonna bring them up together and I'm gonna take the left tail end over my right tail end and I'm gonna bring that over, pull it all the way down so the bead is in position. Then I'm going to take my right and I'm going to bring that over the left tail of that elastic. I'm just, I often try and do this by lifting it up, but I need to make sure you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just pulling that down so there's no gaps. It's not slipping over that bar or anything. And now I'm going to take either one. So I'm going to do left over right and I'm going to wrap that round twice. So it's got like a double little knot, stop it slipping and bring that down. And I'm going to give it a nice little pull, gentle, that I'm not going to snap it, but with enough force to close that knot. And then what I will do is I'm going to add a little bit of glue onto that at the end. So now I'm going to undo my little clip. And I'm going to tie the bottom two ends together. So that last green row. It's helpful that I've mixed up beads just so you know which one I'm referring to, really. So now this is the row with the blue on, the middle one. I'm going to make sure that's not in the way from the previous one. And I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm bringing my left over my right tail and I'm pulling that down nice and tightly. Then I'm taking my right tail over the left tail and I'm bringing that down and giving that a little pull. And then whichever way I'll do right over the left this time, I'm gonna bring that round once and twice. And then I'm gonna pull that down together. So I've got a nice sturdy knot that's not gonna come undone. And now last time again, hopefully you can see this. Lucy's saying, wish I was braver with elastic. I'm going to make some gemstone bracelets in a couple of lives time, Lucy. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do, um, I think I'm going to use the floss elastic with that. Mm, I'm not too sure, I'll check. But I'm going to show you a different way where you can bring that elastic round through the whole bracelet again. And that might make you feel it a little bit more secure. If you do your knots like this, though, you'll be absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm bringing it up and making sure that those beads are kind of gathered together. So there's not any major gaps in them. So they're nicely in position. I'll go and do this really slow so you can see. So I've got one in my left hand and one in my right hand. I'm taking the left over that right tail and I'm just bringing that through and pulling it down tight. I hold on to it so I'm pulling it down with these fingers here. So that's keeping that elastic from slipping and those beads moving. And then taking the right end, crossing it over the left and taking that underneath and back up. Still holding on to these bits just to keep it in position. 
and then I should be able to lift it up a little bit for you. That's the wonder with elastic, it's clear so you can't always see it on the camera. So then I'm taking whichever side, so this time I'm going to go left again, over the right one, and I'm going to bring that under and under again. So I've got two little kind of wraps going through there, and then I will pull that down. So what I've done, that will stop making the knots kind of slip open a little bit. I am going to put some glue on it or some clear nail varnish. But you'll see when I move these, when I cut off these tail ends, you really won't see those knots too much. They're going to be hidden towards that spacer bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of glue or a little bit of clear nail varnish. Nail varnish I like because it's clear, it does the job, and obviously it comes with a little brush. So I can just take off the excess. It's a little bit gloopy, but that's that's why I use it for jewellery rather than for my nails. I'm going to hold that first knot and I'm just going to coat it just slightly above and let that nail varnish just drip onto that knot a little bit and that will seal it. Same on the next row. So I'm going to give it a little pull together, make sure that elastic's nice and tight. I've still got enough on my brush. I don't need to add any more at the moment. And I will clean it up a little bit at the end just to make sure I haven't got any of the nail varnish on those beads. So just want to coat it a little bit just to seal it. As I say, make sure you get rid of the excess. You only need a tiny bit. If you're using glue instead, then use a little toothpick or maybe a cocktail stick just to get a tiny little bit on that end. And I'm just dabbing it onto that knot just to seal it. So when I'm happy that my knots are dry and that glue is dried, then all I need to do is come in with my scissors or my cutters and I'm just gonna trim close to the knot just at the end of those tails. I'm not going to do it now because I want to make for the glue to dry. And there you have, really straightforward, will take you about 20 minutes, I'd imagine, half an hour if you're chit-chatting, to make these beautiful, beautiful bracelets. I'm going to put them on for you, the ones that I've made, so you can see what they look like on. Really easy to go on and because they will stretch. So they are nice and chunky. They're not too heavy, but because these are semi-precious natural gemstones, they always feel lovely and cool. You can always tell a real gemstone by the temperature when you touch it, it always feels cold. So as I say, they are a variety of Chalcedony, which is from the Quartz family. Um, they are discovered mainly in North Mexico and uh, Southwest United States. They are formed, I think, through um, like volcanic activity many, many millions of years ago. They are beautiful for grounding, calming energy, um, but they also give you a little bit of fire in your belly, apparently, to help you with creativity and expression and courage. So that is the beautiful light green one. Kath says a lovely, lovely summery bracelet. Lucy says so nice, I love them. This one is the purple. I honestly wish you could see what this looks like in the flesh because it's looking so dark on my camera. But it's a very deep, beautiful purple. They are really comfy. And as I say, they, they stretch. You've got your elastic, so they will open up. They will stretch over your hand 
fairly easily if you want to add that extra um space of bar in you can do if you want to make it a bit bigger you'll see this design i just pop two in the middle and then the three either side so my spacer bars are a little bit closer together this one is the gorgeous blue tutu says just beautiful and lucy's favorite which goes actually very nicely with my clothes today is the fuchsia on black can't help but touch them they're really nice to just roll up and down so they are our gorgeous bracelets Heidi says I love them all favorite hat to be the purple and the pink one really comfortable to wear so I hope you've enjoyed them thank you so much for being with me today let me bring you up let me see what i've missed lucy says so gorgeous so bargains for you today these are semi-precious gemstones so you've got really good quality beautiful beautiful um components for your jewelry today i'm sure if you sell your jewelry they'll be um smash hits and big sellers look they just look so gorgeous on I might keep this one on today because i'm wearing my pinks um they vary in price they're from around nine pounds uh i think the most expensive one was ten pounds fifty and that one is for the future and black that i'm wearing today um they have been discounted so the future and black one which is now ten pound fifty should have been twelve pounds so you've got a little bit of discount there as well um Mina says they're stunning. Thank you very much. So um, it's Friday today. Is it Friday today? Haven't got a clue where the days are going or what day you're on. I'm going to be back with you on Monday. Um, oh, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with you Monday. I'm going to be making jewellery sets. We've got, if it's the right one that I'm thinking of, we have got the most amazing bundle um, for you to buy which is going to have a whole lot of lovelies and a whole lot of colours. I'm going to be showing you how to do some um, pendants, some earrings, kind of maybe some asymmetrical earrings. Um, really simple to do. But look, again, really summery and really effective. A lot of the makes I've got coming up soon will be um, very summer inspired. I'm going to I don't want to tell you, but I'm going to be using some of the most amazing beads. Um, so please join me for that. I will be back with you on Monday. Have a lovely weekend, whatever you're doing. If it's raining, then enjoy the coolness. Maybe get out in the rain for a little walk. Uh, catch up on all the things you couldn't do when you were melting. Um, if you are watching on the other side of the world, then good evening to you. Have a lovely rest and a lovely night. And I will 